He's 39, getting on to 40. He's a trained accountant. He worked as a finance and administrative executive in a private establishment. He's been bedridden since 2009. I was first admitted in Lutz. Then they recalled I had a majority of the spine. He started with pains. He was having pains all over his back. From back, he said I should match him. He thought it was just ordinary matching. The next thing, he still complained that the pains, he could not even move from our house to the bus stop anymore. He that said, same morning? No, the following day. He said he could not go to work, that he was feeling serious pains all over his body. I see what kind of pain. We matched him. Though you massaged him? I massaged him, then he mm. was okay. The next minute, he, he, he came back very early from the office that day and said yeah, that he could not stand it again, that the pain is getting too much. The day he, he lost out, he went, out, he went on a coma. The following, I think the third day, he went on a coma. He could not talk, so we went to the hospital. When we got there, they admitted him. When they admitted him, the following day, he could not talk again. We were tapping him, nothing, to no response. The doctors tried for two days, nothing to avail. So we, they transferred us back to Lutz. So we went to Lutz. When we got there, he spent like five days before he, he came back. He came back and he could talk again. The doctors were examining him that they said he had um, meningitis of the spine. He was discharged, but still went for regular checkup. Throughout 2010, still we were going for checkup. He could not walk. He could not still do his normal movements. He used to do thoughts. It was, it was just a long process. You think he could not recover it. According to her, he wasn't getting better and so had to go abroad for another medical examination. 2011 January, he decided to go to UK since he had access of going to UK. So he renewed his passport and went to UK. When he got there, he, was, he had an access there to go to the hospital. When he got there, they said he had um, he need a, um, he need a replacement of mitral valve of the heart. And they, he's not, he doesn't have papers in UK, so he cannot, they can't treat him. So they, they, I think they transferred him back to his country. He came back to Nigeria and we gave the report to our doctors in Lutz and they said that he has to go for a surgery of the heart. That's what is written in the report, that he has to go to a surgery and they don't do the surgery in Nigeria. So we found out about India. The doctor gave us access to one doctor in India. He, he was one that processed it and he said the, the surgery alone is about 1.5 million naira for the surgery. Then all that, and he said that other charges will be uh, will be charged when we we'll get there, but they don't know until they see him. So that's what we are looking for. We don't have that kind of money. If you could afford to go overseas for a medical check, then why can't you afford 2.5 million naira for a surgery? One wonders. We've been spending money right from 2009 till date. He doesn't have job. I don't have either. So we've been spending money, money, and we are lost out out of fun. So we don't have any money. Now, even his drugs, he doesn't take them anymore because there's no money for us to buy them. They say friends have also been supportive. Augustine ought to have gone for his treatment in India since June this year. He's not in a good state now. Was this how you were talking before? No. It affected my voice. It's always feeling cold. You can see we locked up the whole window. He's always feeling cold on that side of the body that is affected. Okay. Is it the, right the side? Left, okay. left side okay. that's affected. So he's always feeling cold. You can't open everywhere. You can't even come out. You can't write. You can't eat by himself. I do the feeding. He can't bathe by himself. I bathe him. Augustine and his wife got married barely five years ago. They're blessed with a son. They said life was good until the sickness came. He was a loving person, a very hard-working person. He doesn't, there's no breathing space for anything. He's a very hard-working person. He doesn't give room for laziness. In fact, it's my heart. He's been nice to me. As a father, and we are laboring very closely. This indigenous of Olicholona in Delta State 
wants to be on his feet again. I've tried since 2009 to be here and there with him. One person doing the whole thing. Beating a full grown up man is not easy. I feel Nigerians should please help me for him to be on his feet. Fellow Nigerians, I'm appealing to you people to assist me from this problem. Later, state government, I'm still appealing to them to assist us. Fellow Nigerians, please, I want you to help me. Anything you have, may God help you as well.